everyone, we are back, and we're going to be on the Plizze here. Uh, this is an obvious keep, right? We have uh, Chaser, Welder, Brawler, three lands, the whole deal. So we can play Chaser into Brawler on turn three, which is exactly what we want to do. Uh, we could also play Automaton into Brawler on turn three. Not nearly as good as Chaser into Brawler on turn three. So uh, if we are going to draw a fourth land, which I don't mind because we have Chandra's Revolution, I kind of pray that it's green for the Bandar. But because we had all red stuff in our hand and we had three lands, like I thought it was totally fine. So um, a big green deck is kind of what we're lacking against. Um, and this hand isn't specifically going to be like that great against a big green deck. But that being said, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, we just have so much stuff in our hand right now. And we get to curve out, like, very, very nicely. Alright. Tap this for improvise. Tap these. Let's make a guy. Alright, good luck, our opponent. Um, he can't attack. He can kind of block, but not really. The question is, if he plays, like, a thriving rhino, what do we do? Alright, quick little nature's away there. That's fine. We're going to play uh, Bandar Automaton next turn. Um, okay, we drew the fifth land that we didn't really need, but it's fine. Just going... Oh, I should not have attacked here, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. I got in a free point then. Happy I got that point in. All right. So, depending on what he plays, we can make moves with the Bandar or not. So this we're obviously killing, so we don't have to make moves with the Bandar yet. Huh. We could move all the counters to the Servo. Hmm. It is a move we could make. I actually like that move. All right, time to get in. Uh, getting in for at least six here, maybe eight if he doesn't block. He's going to block, though, and then uh, this is going to be, getting, be able to get in three next turn. If he plays like a good four drop, like a Pima Outrider, that could actually be a little bit of trouble for us, but uh, it shouldn't be that much. Like, Pima Outrider is the worst-case scenario here. Revoke Privileges isn't that bad, obviously. That's not that bad. Wow, another Scrounging Mandar too. So we get to play two spells again this turn. Yeah, this is going well. <laughs> this is going well. Again, this whole like playing games and matches against different people is so weird. I imagine he has a spell here. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Again, this gets sick if, because, like, I can make either one of these two threats lethal next turn, depending on what he does. Okay. Ridge Gale Tusker is a good draw. Um, I'm going to put it on the Menace guy, right? Yeah, because then I can have him dead. Wait, what if I just don't move the counters and attack with everybody? He just eats something, trades something, I get in for three, and then he has to play a creature next turn. Whereas this way I just trade for the Tusker and get in for three. That's not as good, actually. So the question is, would I, have, would I rather have him at two and a Brawler and, let's say, a Tusker? So would I rather have him have a Tusker, me have a Brawler, and him be at two? Or would I rather him have a Specialist, me have a Thriving Grubs? Okay. What if I put everything on the Grubs? So what does that do? Then I attack for five with the Grubs, so he has to block the Grubs. He blocks it with, like, this, and then he can't block this. That actually might be the play. Right? Or he could just block it with the Tusker, and then I get in for three, and then he has a Restoration... Sp oh. All right, I think we're going to get the job done here. So 
So he has to block the Grubs with something. Um, probably the Tusker, just to trade. And then he takes three, and then I play Carry Zev. Um, which automatically pretty much gets in for lethal. Because I have like two menace things now. Plus, alright, we did it. On to game number five. See you there. Everyone, we are back with another keep. Jeez. I think this deck is good. But we, we're going to see. We're, we're up against some good decks probably now. Again, I don't really know how they do the pairings. Um, I would assume that it has something to do with record. But I don't know if it has, I don't have, know if it has like a little to do with record or a lot to do with record. Um, and so because of that, I can't really tell you if we're like playing against the really good decks now, or we're still just playing against like random decks. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, no reason to show him a forest just yet. Uh, going to play a chaser next turn, planning on playing another chaser plus a built to smash or a scrounging bandar, uh, if there's something we need to get through, but we will shortly figure that out. Luckily, implement of combustion doesn't go to creature, else that would be bad for us. Um, we seem to be playing against another aggro deck, though, and we're on the draw, so we're going to have to find a way to turn the corner. That being said, we have a lot of stuff that can do it, right? Scrouging Bandar can buff a guy. Uh, the Aether Chasers can block infinitely against aggro decks, so uh, we should be good to go. If he attacks, we're just going to block. I think we just trade for his combat trick, right? Yeah, we'll trade for your combat trick. What's your combat trick, homie? Is it plus two plus two or plus three plus three? Those are the only two ones that get you there. Plus one plus two. That also gets you there. All right. Plus one plus two it is. Plus a sky skiff. Good plan. Good plan. All right. Um, we're just going to play another chaser here. Maybe it was better not to block. I I mean it. So the reason it might have been better not to block was because well this can't be blocked by artifact creatures anyways but just because like there wasn't a way for us to really play two spells in our turn so he's just going to attack with sky skiff here i would imagine unless he just has another combat truck in hand and he's just going to get aggressive again but then maybe we take three this time or maybe it's a fake out <laughs> it'd be a little sick if it was a fake out i'd have to give him a lot of credit for that one All right, what's going on here? Girapu Osprey. So this is going to fire up the skiff, and he's going to get in for two with the skiff. And then hopefully we're going to draw a land, play Automaton, Bandar, get in for two, make a servo. Uh, it doesn't, he has not crewed yet, but I'm assuming he will. Okay, so how long do you get? Do you get like 12 minutes in these in these uh, games or something? It's a pretty reasonable amount of time. Yeah, I would assume you get half, you get like 12 and a half minutes or something. All right, he's obviously not attacking with Audacious Infiltrator. If he does, he's representing one trick and one trick only, which is built to smash. Uh, he's not going to do that, though. And we're going to try to draw land here. Land, land is really what we want. Land, land really, like, gets us over the hump. No land would actually be pretty bad for us. Just because, like, we can beat this. We can beat this draw. We just need the lands to beat it. All right. Uh, just going to fire up the Chaser. Obviously, in a servo, we get two free servos. Also, our, our servos are great with built to smash, so that's fantastic. Uh, no need to Chandra's Revolution at this point. Just getting more things on the board, uh, trying to make things bigger. We can always scrounging Bandar the Aether Chaser if we ever think that that's something that we have to do. Uh, unfortunately, we have no way to save it if he tries to kill it, but uh, we can save it in combat, of course, if we're attacking with built to smash. So that is always good. So, like, if he has a um, impeccable timing and he, like, tries to get us for some reason, then it gets this way. So, uh, this kind of does two damage to a player. It's like a shock to a player and you get to draw a card for two mana. That's not that bad. It also, like, there's a lot of artifact synergies in this set, so it's obviously fantastic in those. Although, I think mostly artifact synergies with red are in, like, red, black, slash, red, blue. But who knows? Who really knows? I mean, red has improvised cards too, so that's totally reasonable. All right, what is our opponent going to do here? Scrounging Mandar's just been an all-star. 
I uh, I actually had a live paper draft last night. Um, if you want to go check that out, you can go to my main channel, Samuel Rubin. Um, link might be somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I'll be in the comments for sure. So if you if you make a comment, you can just follow follow my uh, avatar thing. But uh, I had I saw someone with like three of them, and you know they were just saying that the cards absurd all the time. And like I kind of knew that, but I didn't really know that. Like. I had played with the card once, and it seems really, really, really strong, um, but at the end of the day, it is just kind of like a cat bear, so, you know, the question is, how high do you pick it? Can you pick it second? Are you happy to take it third? Well, in this draft, we took it second, and because the pack was weak, we were super happy, and the card's been phenomenal for us, so, like, you know, of course, we're going to be happy to take it that high. So, obviously, some of it depends on how high you're taking it, and, uh, but anyways, I, I or what the pack looks like. But anyways, I think it's a pretty good card. Uh, so if he plays something that's worth Chandra's Revolutioning, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to move the Scrounging Bandar counters to the Aether Chaser. I'd imagine. Airdrop Aeronauts. Yeah, we're going to move them over to here. Okay, so we might as well just revolution now or attack with everything. We'll revolution now. Because if he doesn't activate Sky Skiff, then we get in for a bunch more. So that kind of matters. Uh, this turn we didn't really bother to draw land, but if we draw like land land, I think we probably win this game. Just because we get to, uh, I mean, we just get to play like Wayward Giant and then build the Smash, and then we should be okay. Um, where we can also, huh? This not by artifacts. Okay. So, assuming he doesn't draw anything, next turn we're getting in for a whole lot of damage. I think the other card in his hand is a land, by the way. Maybe he's just like 5-drop flooded, who knows. Him not being able to gain the life here was huge. Veteran Motorist. Alright, that's really, really good. Alright, that, that makes it uh, that we're on the back foot now, right? If he had just had like nothing there or like a regular 2-2, two -two, we would have been fine. Uh, but the fact that that crew is the Sky Skiff, and all of a sudden he can get in for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 this turn, uh, and then he can get in for 5 more next turn, means that we're basically just dead unless we draw a removal spell. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, we are dead here if he does everything correctly, right? If he crews the Skiff, and he... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty dead here. That's like the only card that had us dead too. Obviously can't block. I mean there are draws that get us out of this. Let's not let's not forget that. I think that's one of them. I have yeah. All right, we're going to win this game. All right, so one, two, three, four. Oh, this didn't play around impeccable timing at all. This was a terrible way to do it. Oh, well, I think we got it anyways. Yep, that's game. That's exactsies, right? All right, win number five on to round number six. See you there. All right, welcome everybody to round number six. I would love to play first, and I would like to... Ugh, this hand is so bad. I guess I keep. This hand just has no two drops, but I guess it's good enough. Like, if I draw a third land, I can all of a sudden cast almost everything in my hand, and my hand's pretty good. Yeah, this hand isn't good enough to keep. All right, this is going to be our this is gonna be our loss, I think. I'm calling it now. I think this is going to be our loss of the tournament. Huh. 
kind of hungry flames here. I just don't want him to get like super head on mana. Plus I drew the extra land so I can Sweatworks Brawler next turn. Yeah, not worried about that. All right. Let's see what happens here. So, yeah. All right, I mean, look, I mean, sometimes you draw good. That's all I got to say here. I mean, maybe, may, or yeah, a Wayward Giant would have obviously been better, but that's, I mean, that's about it. All of a sudden, I'm attacking for 7 next turn, plus I can kill pretty much anything with Chandra's Revolution. I mean, even if he decides to get in for 6 here, that's just not good enough. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, he might as well do that. I only just got in for a lot. <laughs> that was way good enough. I lied. Uh, what do I do here? What do I do? Nope, can't do that. Crew 3. So if I attack here... No, I just attack here. I play Night Market Guard and I keep up High Spire Infusion. Maybe? I just have no idea how that gets me there. Do I revolution this? Keep this tapped? Yeah, probably. Ugh, yeah, this is the game to lose here. Didn't get out to an aggressive enough start, and now my opponent's just browning me with Rich Gale Tusker. Now, the advantage is, or the good thing is, is that if he plays something that's not very good... If he plays another Rich Gale Tusker, I'm just dead, whatever. But if he plays something that's not very good, and he activates the Bowman Bizarre Barge, and he doesn't have a trick, I get to eat the Bowman Bizarre Barge for, for two mana. And then next turn, I would get to attack for seven, play Night Market Guard. He hits back for five, and then I kill him on the backswing. So that's the advantage to this whole play. We're going to see what happens here. All right. So he's going to Brown Town unless he has a trick. Yeah. All right. Uh, high Spar Infusion. Please don't have plus one plus three or another. Okay, we did it. All right, we got that far. Please don't have another card to play. Please just be stuck on white cards. Nope. God dang it. Yeah, Pyro Helix just doesn't really get the job done here, unfortunately. Well, I probably still attack with both. Nope, has Menace, homie. All right, I mean, I two for one myself, but I kind of had to. Like, I have to win by being aggressive here. He has so many cards in hand that I'm not winning by being a control deck, so I have to win by being the aggressive deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. Nope. His deck's absurd. We're dead. And good for us. There's uh, nothing that we could have drawn next turn. didn't really matter. All right, on to match number six.